Hi everyone, this is Annie again. I'm back with another video that I'm doing for the Planner Society design team. This video in particular will be a TN pocket folder tutorial. This is my first time um, creating this type of a pocket folder for a TN, but I'm really, really excited to share this tutorial that I have for you guys this time around. So regarding my TN, this is a number three um, Foxy Fix. It is in the Mochi color and I love it so much. I think it's a perfect size. You can see that it is housing my March kits from the Planner Society. But yeah, she is a little bit chunkier than before because I now have six inserts as well as some goodies inside. So this is the pocket that I made, the pocket folder I should say. It's the very first one that I've ever made. Um, I put a little adhesive pocket sticker from Target in the front so that I can house my page flags there. So just opening it up here, you can see that this is a really fun pocket folder. I'm just moving the clip out of the way because it was giving me a little bit of trouble there. But yeah, it's two pockets. Um, it has inserts and you know like slits in the front there where I can put like smaller samples of stickers or if, um, a clip there maybe if I wanted to. But yeah, that's the first one that I've ever created. And um, I'm just showing off the pockets that I have cut out. Now, what I did was I cut out the backing myself. I kind of eyeballed it and sized it as close as I could get it because I don't know the exact dimensions. I did that myself there. But regarding the pockets um, that you see there, the ones in the black print with the white flowers, that is using a cut file from List Lab on Etsy. So what you get are the actual little pockets um, that you can adhere to a backing. The one that I have made already inside my TN, it's the cutouts of the little pockets that you see there that came from the listing. So I'll definitely put the link on where I received that down below in the description box. So here you can see that I am going to be folding over the flaps where you will be adhering the pockets to the backing that you cut out. What I did was I grabbed a Erin Condren ruler that I had lying around. That way I can really kind of straighten it as best as I could and line it up to the flaps where I can fold them over. Um, I don't have a scoreboard so I'm doing everything manually with just tools that I have lying around. So if you don't have a scoreboard, you can literally just grab a ruler. Um, it can be a wooden one, whatever you have, just so that you can line up the flaps there so that you are folding them over as nicely as possible. So what I'm doing now is I'm just grabbing the ruler and really flattening down the fold as best as I can. That way it's not too thick and you won't have it really poofing out um, too much. I don't like it. I don't want it to have it like super lifted. So I kind of just grabbed the ruler and just slided it over the edge there so that I could really flatten it out as best as I could. So when it came to cutting out the backing where I will be gluing the folder flaps on, I literally just took my insert that I have from the 1407 planners and just um, spread it out evenly so that I could measure it up against it because I knew that it was a true A6 sized insert that I needed. Um, when it comes to the sizing of the inserts, um, at first, since this was my very first time doing it, I was a little bit confused. Um, I went on the Foxy Fix website to check the sizing and they do have it sized except it's sized so that it's folded over if that makes sense. So what you kind of have to do is you have to double the size of the width <laughs> that way you have it true to size so that when you fold it in half um, it's the correct size and matches the A6 size. So 
So what I'm doing now is I'm gonna fold over the backing that I cut out. That way it is true to size. Um, before that, you know, I cut it out so it was doubled the length of the width. And now that when it's folded over, it's the correct size as it's listed on the Foxy Fix website. I went ahead and grabbed my ruler so that I could run it along the edge again to make sure that I could flatten out the fold. And then now I'm kind of just eyeballing where I would want to place the little pocket folders that I have there. But before I glue it down, I just have to quickly go ahead and fold over the flaps of the second one. So I'm going to do that and then we'll continue from there. Alright, so now that I have both of them folded over, I'm just going to grab the um, round corner punch that I have here so that I can punch out the corners of the backing because I do like the look of rounded corners. Um, this particular punch that I have here is adjustable. I'm using the medium size. I'll definitely put the link down below on where I got it. I purchased it from Amazon and it works great. Alright, so now what I'm doing is I'm just going to kind of eyeball on where I would want to lay down the pocket flaps that I have. I know the terminology that I'm using is probably incorrect. I literally don't know what I'm calling each part for this tutorial. Let's just go with the backing as what I cut out for the back of the folder and then the pocket folders. I, mean, I keep saying flaps, but the little pocket folders that I cut out in order to glue it down. So um, what I'm doing is I'm grabbing my tape runner that I have. Um, I actually get mine from TJ Maxx and Marshalls. It comes in a pack of like five or six for I think like $6.99 or something like that. Super great deal. Just make sure that you are running the glue only on the flaps. Do not glue the back entirely or else you will not have a pocket. Um, only glue the flaps. That way that when you place it down, you will be able to insert things into the pocket that you uh, created. Alrighty, and there we have it. My very first pocket for this one. Um, it's ready for my stickers, so I'm just grabbing some from Little Star Plans here. And look! They fit perfectly and I love it. So I'm going to go ahead and quickly glue down the flaps of the second one so that I can complete my little project here. And then you guys will see that I'm about to house my little star plan stickers into my super cute new pocket folder for my TN. Um, the one thing I wanted to mention is since I rounded out the corners of the backing for my folder, um, I wanted to make sure that I'm lining up the pocket flap so that it's not interfering with the round corner. So you'll see that there's a little bit of space there between the pocket flap itself and the edge of the backing of my little pocket folder. So I'm just going to go ahead and press down and we're done. So this was a super quick and easy tutorial. Literally anyone can do this. If I can, anyone can. So I'm going to go ahead and just put my little stickers into my little pockets there and then I'll insert my complete folder into my TN. I just love how it turned out. It's so adorable. Oh my gosh. I love it. <laughs> so now I'm just figuring out where in my TN I want to place this pocket folder that I created. I got a little confused at first. I knew I wanted it between the two 1407 planner inserts that I had, but my mind just went elsewhere so that when I put it in, I had the book actually inside the folder and I was like, wait a minute. No, that's not what I wanted. Why would I want the book in the middle of the pocket? So, I mean, in the middle of the folder. Anyways, I figured it out that I needed to move it and what I really wanted is to have the folder itself in between the two inserts so that there was a, di a bit of a contrast between them. But there you guys have it. I am all done with my tutorial. I honestly think it's so fun creating these. It's a great way to use the paper 
that you get in the kits and it's so easy. I'll definitely put the link from List Lab down below in the description box if anyone is interested in checking that out. It made this project that much easier for me. So yes, that's everything. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I will catch you guys next time. Mwah. Bye.